What is up, everybody? It is JT Sports. I am back to you guys with another video, and I'm here with some breaking news. So, the New York Jets have signed former Washington football team offensive tackle Morgan Moses to a one year deal. And this just is another signing that caps off a really good offseason for the New York Jets. Now with the addition of Morgan Moses to their offensive line, you add him to the opposite side of Makai Becton, who is one of the best young and up-and-coming offensive tackles in the game. Then on top of that, you have offensive guard Elijah Vera Tucker, who they traded up to get in this past year's NFL draft. This is a really solid offensive line that the Jets have. On top of that, you're now doing something that you didn't do for Sam Darnold. You're actually protecting your franchise quarterback in Zach Wilson. So it looks like the New York Jets organization is learning from their past mistakes with Sam Darnold. And they're trying to make sure that they give Zach Wilson all of the necessary tools to succeed. On top of that, you look at wide receivers, Corey Davis, who they picked up in free agency. He's going to be pretty solid. Then you have Denzel Mims. On top of that, you got Michael Carter in the backfield a lot of Jets fans have been really excited about what Michael Carter could do this year and behind this off the line man I think he could be in for a pretty solid rookie year now you look at off the corner to Mike LaFleur obviously with him being the brother of Matt LaFleur the head coach of the Green Bay Packers he's going to emphasize running the football and on top of that he's going to want to get Zach Wilson outside the pocket which is one of Zach Wilson's biggest strength it's his playmaking ability once he gets outside of the pocket so I'm really excited to see this New York Jets offense this year last year we know that the Jets had one of the worst off the lines in the NFL and this team didn't have a lot of talent at all if we're being honest they were you know Paper thin at wide receiver. Aside from Jamison Crowder, he didn't really have any consistency there because Denzel Mims was in and out of the lineup due to injuries. Now you improve the wide receiver position. You bring in Corey Davis alongside of Jamison Crowder, Denzel Mims. You got a good receiving core for Zach Wilson to throw to this year. You got Michael Carter in the backfield. Now you have a really good off the line. It's all coming together for the New York Jets. And you have to give... Their general manager, Joe Douglas, a lot of credit for what the Jets have done this offseason. Because this roster has went from one of, if not the worst in the NFL, to, okay, offensively, you got some pieces. You have some pieces. And with Makai Becton there already doing damage on the opposite side of Morgan Moses, you have one of the better offensive tackle duos in the NFL. Now, Morgan Moses was pretty good for Washington last year. They released him at some, I think it was like at the start of the offseason or whatnot. I wanted the Steelers to sign Morgan Moses, but he ends up going to the Jets. And he's been linked to the Jets for a pretty good while. So, for the Jets to bring in Morgan Moses, this is a really great signing. This is definitely going to help Zach Wilson out a lot. And I'm really impressed to see the New York Jets learning from their mistakes with their previous quarterback and now trying to give Zach Wilson all the tools to succeed in New York. So let me know how you guys feel about this signing down in the comment section down below. Make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.